Hey guys, Rickshane here, and today's going to be a guide for Hermod, the Spirit of War. It's a new necromancy boss, and I believe it requires level 75, uh, 65 necromancy to fight. Uh, I do recommend uh, getting level 70 before you fight him, simply because having level 70 weapons is really nice. Uh, just because of the damage they deal, and they're really easy to get in general. This is a little bit of time, and you know, it's a lot of money in it right now. So... Uh, to be honest, this boss is pretty easy. It's got version in one difficulty. So I'm not going to really sweat too much about, like, gear and stuff. And so let's just get right into it. I just have, a, you know, the typical tier 60 Death Warden set. Everyone should have this if you're doing necromancy, you know, as you progress. Any cape, like some kind of skill cape that gives a bonus. Highly recommend taking a Salve Amulet E, simply because it gives 20% hit chance and damage, and he's undead, so it's really good against them. If you don't have this though, I guess use some other damage boosting amulet, such as a Fury or something. But again, Salve Amulet E is very easy to get. Uh, Luck of the Dwarves, just because I, th I believe it helps to get the uniques, which is these armor pieces to get the power armor uh, set. Uh, I might actually make that the tank armor though, which doesn't require it. So, if you don't have a Luck of Dwarves, I wouldn't really worry about it. It's just a ring that increases the drop chance by, like, one. So, like, if it's a one of a hundred, it's just one chance. So, it doesn't really matter. Just if you have it, bring it. Uh, tier 70 Death Guard and Tier 70 Skull Lantern. If you have Tier 60, you'll do fine as well. Again, I, Tier 70 is just not far from 65. Uh, I'm bringing a Scripture of Jazz. If you're bringing poison, such as weapon poison... I'd probably bring a wind bug, but again, you, I wouldn't really worry too much about the pocket slot. It's not needed. It's just if you have it, the scripture of jazz is very cheap. You know, just some restore potions, uh, some ruins. Uh, why? Um, to be honest, I don't think you even need these because um, what you really need is just ectoplasm, which is used to summon these uh, skeletal warriors, uh, putrid zombie, and vengeful ghost. So. Yeah, if you're not using defensives, don't worry about this. Maybe when it gets cheaper, you can use um, something such as Lesser Bone Shield and use, like, a defensive if you need to. But, yeah, don't worry about the runes. They're just kind of there for the sake of being there, like, because there's no rune pouch for Necromancy, as far as I know. Uh, a bunny up is really low. 68 summoning. It'll passively heal you. Damaging familiars such as Ripper Demons don't actually hurt him. You could use something such as a Calgren Demon, but that's kind of a high-level familiar. So, again... If you have a bunyip, use a bunyip. If no familiar, don't really worry about it. Uh, the best potion you have, you make a necromancy potion, a super necromancy potion, or an extreme necromancy potion. And if you have overloads, use overloads. I have an overload salve, which is the best potion. It only gives plus 17 necromancy, though, not plus 21. Uh, probably because I'm not a high enough necromancy level to get boosted the, the full amount. Uh, I won't be probably drinking this just for the sake of the video to show that you don't need it, because there are plenty people, you know, doing this boss without overload. So again, I want to be friendly. Um, if you are using overloads, use Lantidime sticks because they increase the duration of overloads. And torso sticks are only if you care about the experience. Again, only if you care about the experience, you don't need the sticks. Uh, if you don't also care about the experience and want to kill them as fast as possible, bring a weapon poison plus plus plus. I probably would recommend bringing a weapon poison plus 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 simply because um, you could do get better experience rates uh, AoE monsters or AFKing, I think, compared to doing him. Uh, so it's really up to you whether or not you want to use weapon poison. If you are using weapon poison, you can bring Cinderbane gauntlets if, if, again if you have them. And if you ever have tier 70 augmented gear, or if you have hybrid armor such as Suske armor or the accuracy armor from Barrows, which is hybrid for the top and legs, uh, you can uh, augment it with perks such as Impatient 4, Undead Slayer for damage boosting. You know, stuff like that. So, we're past that now. So, let's go get there. If you kill the boss once, you can go to War Retreat to go there. But, I'm going to try to get there. So, go to the city of um, Teleport. And, again, uh, we're, we're just going to walk all the way north towards this uh, dock. And, we'll be there. Uh, I do want to say, again, it's not really a hard boss. So I'm not really stressing about the requirements. Uh, you can use, like, the archaeology logs, such as Death Ward and stuff. And... Whatever, whatever you really want, it, it, just use you know the best stuff you have. Uh, if you're the small is good. It, again, don't stress too much about it. Uh, you do want to put deflect necromancy and the best uh, prayers you have. Mine is leech necromancy strength and leech necromancy attack. It's just so I can hit the boss better. So we're gonna put those on, and we're gonna drink a weapon poison scripture on. And if you want to use an aura, you can use vampirism aura or something. 
For the sake of the video, I'm not going to use any aura just to show like you can do it without an aura. Um, we're going to go travel. And to be honest, I'm going to try with dark magic. Let's see if dark magic works. I'm actually kind of curious about that. Go to the door. Uh, you want to just click enter and fastest. And you can do this up to five players. So if you have friends, go bring some friends. You can do it with five people. But we're going to do solo today. So the first kill, I'm going to just demonstrate the mechanics of the boss. And the second kill, I will show how to like, you know, really just DPS him quite well. So here he is. We're just going to attack him. Yep, and just, you know, use some necromancy abilities. I'll explain the rotation on the second kill. Do, 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 do. So we're going to be waiting for him to be grunting. He's going to have something in the chat box going to go, and he's going to move. So just wait a little bit, and he's going to move in a second. Oh, there it is. He moved. And then there's a the sword. Uh, sometimes I guess he doesn't talk. I thought he does talk. Um, but it's just when he goes, like, he moves like this. And it, it, grr. Sometimes he does talk, sometimes he doesn't. You just need to move two squares away. And you'll be fine. If he if that hits you, it, it's only a two thousand damage hit, and uh, what should I call it? Uh, it disables your protection prayers. So it's not the end of the world. So don't worry about it. So yep, you can just keep attacking him. He's gonna summon some skeletons now, and you just want to kill these right away, any way you want. We're gonna use our ultimate here, Death Skulls. Oops. Well, that died. So oopsies. Oh, he's doing this little special. So be sure to just keep moving a little bit. Well, if you're in doubt, you just always click two away and see what happens, and then you're fine. Keep attacking him. And we're gonna just, you know, we're gonna just zap him a bunch of right now. Zap, 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 zap. There we go. Oh, one thing I did forget, by the way, is you can bring Volm Bombs, but again, this is supposed to be a very new friendly guide. So yeah, if you want to bring roll bombs to speed up the kill, you can do that. I'm also not summoning spirits on purpose, by the way. I will show how to summon spirits and do damage. It's just, you know, some people might not even know how to use the spirits. Again, you do need the ectoplasm. So this is really all the boss is. He just keeps slamming and summoning these skeletons. And he's not meant to be that hard. He's I, I think he does a good job at, like, you know, being a cool boss and helping people get, like, oh, this is how you could boss in this game. So he's going to do the slam again. DPS him. Let's just zap him a lot. Boom. Boom. And he's dead. So, great. Oh, weapon poison is not bad to use. I still got 5,000 experience. I, I, So, weapon poison is definitely very good to use. It doesn't actually take away the experience. Not that much, at least. So, uh, he's going to spawn a bit. Since we have rock tails, we're going to eat up a little bit to be full HP. And so, what are we going to do now? Um, Let's summon our... Vengeful Spirit right now, and then let's summon our Skeleton. You can summon up before the fight, and then we have Adrenaline, so we're going to buff up the Spirit with, with that ability, and now he's juiced. And now we can attack him, we're going to ult him with that little poison thing, and we're just going to get four stacks, attack, put a poison on him, and just keep using basics, wait until you have five stacks, use Valley of Souls, he'll get blasted, Use your soul sap to keep on getting uh, energy and your touch of death. And just keep attacking him. And I'm going to use my F3 key to make my command skeletal warrior to, so he can just slice him a lot. Look at all that damage he's dealing to him. We're going to summon our wraith again back. Our wraith's back up. We're going to juice the wraith a little bit. He's going to summon his skeleton army in a second, by the way. So we're going to summon our skeleton ourselves. We're going to attack these guys, and we're going to go here, we're going to use our Soul Strike to AoE them. They're dead, so we go back on the boss. He's going to slam, move to the side. We're going to use uh, our Rage rage of the Skeleton, I'll just call it that. And we're going to just double zap him right now, he should be dead. Boom. 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 And then we're going to finish him with that little... Valley of Souls, and you should be dead. And that was good. Again, I'm not even overloaded, and I, I kind of, you know, again, talking, because I, I, again, it's a new skill, so, you know, it's hard to like say all the names. I don't even know the names. But yeah, I wasn't even overloaded. You have a, a very high hit chance. Again, if you look at his hit chance, I, I want to look at the hit chance you have with tier 70 and no pots at all. Come on, Mister, can you spawn already? Mister? Hello? 
I just want to see his hit chance. Um, so I have 100% hit chance without even overload. So again, you don't even need potions for this. It's, it's overloads will just boost your damage because the accuracy won't do anything. So uh, that's really all there is. Uh, it, it, he's not a hard boss at all. I think he's good for practice. So I hope you enjoyed the guide. A very easy boss. So yeah, uh, good luck getting those uh, power armor pieces. I personally am probably going to go for the tank armor simply because the tier 95 boss might be a lot harder and the 4,600 HP you get from the t tank armor sounds a lot better. Although I will say the power armor is a lot better for training, probably. So yep, that's it. See you later.